Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Ellen and I am broadcasting live from my timeline today, intentionally so. <laughs> it seems like lately I have been notorious for thinking I'm going live in a private group or an event and um, inadvertently going live publicly on my timeline. <laughs> this is an intentional timeline post. Good morning. Hi, you guys. Um, thank you for hopping on. I'm here at home. I know it's a funny angle. Uh, hi, Trisha. Hi, you guys. It's a funny angle because um, I keep losing all of my good um, tripods. Do you guys have any recommendations for good uh, tripods for cell phones. I had one that I got on Amazon that I loved um, for just like gym stuff. I loved it so much. It was like 12 bucks and you could, it was retractable. So it, you could put it on the floor. Like, I think you could raise it all the way up to like six feet high or something. It was a little tripod, phone um, tripod. I loved it. I left it in Santa Inez about a year ago when I was uh, wine touring and then um, I also have this little like $2 tripod that's like a green hand with thumbs like this. It was like two bucks. I don't even remember where I got it. And it kind of like holds your phone. But my dogs think it's a chew toy. So it's like missing its thumbs now. And I can't even find it. It still works, but I can't find it. So you guys are propped against my coffee mug, which is um, doubling as my tripod today. But I am going to show you my coffee mug because it's noteworthy. Any of you guys have this? Do we have Starbucks fiends watching this video, you guys? Um, I'm, a, I'm a mug collector. I'm sure some of you guys can relate to needing, like, the latest, greatest mugs. I love this mug. I think it's really artistic. I think it's really, like, tattoo-y. I think it looks like a tattoo, kind of. Um, I thought about getting a tiger um, down my leg at one point. Hi, Anita. Hi, good morning, everybody. Anita was with me when I got this mug. And we found out, this is a Starbucks mug, and guess what? They're, like, sold out now. So we found out. Let me put it back so it can be my tripod. We, we, go, to, we go to Starbucks all the time. She's on this live feed. She just hopped on. And um, her daughter lives in L.A., and I, she was like, you should get this certain mug. It's, like, this girl with this, like, lipstick. And I'm like, I have to get this mug. She showed me the picture on Google. And sure enough, they like sold out. So these are very limited edition. We didn't know. Hi, Debbie. Stay on, Debbie. I have to talk about Debbie next. See, I had a topic. I haven't even gotten there yet because I'm distracted by all of y'all. But here's what we found out about these Starbucks mugs. They disappear. They sell out. And then they're like collector's items because that L.A. one that I really want now is $100. Like people are selling it on Amazon, but you can't get it anywhere else. So I'm not really not willing to spend. I didn't love it that much. I wouldn't spend $100 for it. But then we went to Starbucks and we saw this Tiger one sold out now. And I'm like, we should have bought two. <laughs> and I should have sold one on Amazon for $200. For $100. Um, anyway, Debbie Wald just hopped on too. And hi, Deb Power. Um, I've got lots of my instructor friends and staff on here. Um, Debbie and I, um, this is a total side note to what I came on here to talk about today. Uh-oh, that always happens when I go live. I just got a phone call. And so I don't know if I'm still broadcasting, but I think I am, so I'm gonna go for it. Debbie and I have made a return. We took a little hiatus from teaching at the Downtown Athletic Club of Eugene, those of you who are local, um, just a few months, um, and we're back. So we're so excited that um, new schedule launches for those of you who happen to be local who are launching um, we're bringing back P90X and um, Pio here this next week, starting on Monday. So anyway, that's that for those of you who happen to be local. And you guys, I'm teaching tomorrow at the zoo. This is what I really came on here to talk about. I've never taught a class at the zoo before. Also, I have big feelings about zoos. I don't know if you guys do, but they're hard on my heart. It's really hard on my heart to go to the zoo and see the wolves with their like haunted eyes, like in captivity, and the owls in small cages. It's really hard for me. <laughs> However, I do know that zoos do really good things and that they give medical attention and care to, um, you know, and they help with endangered species. So I just have to focus on that. 
and try not to get too bothered by the captivity thing but it's hard on me like it's emotional like I'm sad I'm sad when I go to the zoo um but the reason I came on is to talk about this whole thing because this whole zoo class tomorrow because those of you who are semi-local meaning southern Washington or all of Oregon (laughs) come to the zoo tomorrow we're doing a huge they make me sad too Marlena um we're doing a special event and put a little dog ear in that page. Let me just back up and say that I think from an outsider's perspective, um, which is many of you guys' perspectives, when you look at my fitness and my professional life, it looks confusing <laughs> because I wear a lot of different hats in fitness, um, uh, awesome hats. And, um, A couple of them, especially because they're with the same company, which is Beachbody, are confusing because they are very unrelated, and yet, sometimes, they can be a little bit related. So I was going to sort of talk about that for a second. Um, Last night, I was in a private event doing a live video (laughs) on purpose in the private event, and it occurred to me while I was broadcasting that... July 4th was my six-year anniversary as a Beachbody coach, an online coach. Six years, you guys. Six years. It's my coach anniversary. Can't believe it dawned on me on the 5th of July or 6th. What's today, the 7th? Dawned on me late. But um, yes, 2012, the 4th of July weekend, I was looking for a job. And this woman that I love, adore, and respect so much. She lives in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho. Dear friend. She was my master trainer for Cycle. Um, She had posted about this opportunity. And because I knew her and loved her and trusted her. And she was the most fit person I'd ever known in my life. (laughs) Um, I was like, yeah, what is that you're talking about? What is that thing you're doing? I'm interested. I need a job. I'm motivated. I like work. I like to work. I like to work hard. I love fitness. I love helping people. I love people. I love you guys. Like I love being social, um, being around good energy, feeding off of it, putting it out there. Love that stuff. So anyway, I won't get into the nitty gritty of all the details of that, but 4th of July weekend, Jesse, my youngest, who's now an adult, was a little guy, and we sat hip to hip in a big leather chair, um, a big leather chair, but he was little then, and so we could fit together, and uh, we, I went through a new coach training that probably takes most people like a month to go through. I, I finished it that weekend because I was motivated, and um, I learned how to coach people online with, uh, with this network and, um, started drinking my shake every day, six years ago. And, um, it has been like the single most meaningful work decision that I've ever made. And I have made some amazing, amazing, um, really fortuitous work decisions, um, in my career and some bad ones, of course, you know, some mistakes, some failing forward moments, but, um, yeah, it was so pivotal. It was so life-changing for me, you guys, um, such an opportunity to become a provider in my family financially. Um, if you guys, some of you, some of you knew me then, knew me before then and know me now and have seen this metamorphosis into scared little girl, um, very dependent, um, very, pleaser oriented to this grown woman who, um, who I am today. And I, I honestly like so much of my business skills have been derivative from becoming this online coach. Like, oh my gosh, you guys, I've learned so much about how to use a computer and, um, how to manage people, uh, how to lead. Oh my gosh. Like I'm so like, um, I didn't mean to come in here and go on and on about this, this whole, I meant to talk about the zoo, but this is, I'm just like going on a tangent because it's my coach anniversary. Um, anyway, I'm so 
thankful for that opportunity. Um, I'm so thankful that I jumped in. Thank you, Debbie. Um, Debbie's been with me from the beginning in so many ways. In fact, when I auditioned to become a master trainer uh, for Beachbody Live, which is a different department, which will help me feather into the topic that I came on to talk about, when I went to audition to become a master trainer, you guys, I was scared and like didn't tell anybody except for like Debbie and like my husband because I was afraid that they wouldn't select me and I didn't want to have to come home and tell people like I didn't make it. Um, Debbie flew with me on an airplane to Arizona. She came with me and watched me audition. It was awesome. It's, it was awesome. Like, uh, yeah, good friend. Um, so anyway, then I became a master trainer. So that will, that will help me parlay into the reason I came on this call because I want to invite you to the zoo tomorrow. If you live in the Pacific Northwest, (laughs) um, Then I started getting involved with a completely different division of the company that has nothing to do with online coaching, network marketing, online sales, home workouts, nothing like that. It's all about the gym. And hello, the gym is my, like, love. I love the gym. I love the gym. I love classes. Um, Oh my gosh, Chanel, I want you to come too. Um, So when all these home workouts that you guys know and have heard of from, like, infomercials and, like, old, old school DVDs, like Insanity P90X came into the gym. I was like, yes. In fact, I was already teaching Pio and in love with it, even though it wasn't a Beachbody live class, it belonged to a different company, Shaleen's company, Powder Blue Productions, um, Beachbody acquired it. So then like my two worlds professionally collided. Hi, Jonathan. They collided. And here, this online thing that I was doing for like Um, income and influence, wanting to help more people move and live their best life. Um, Let me swipe these notifications away because they're bugging me. Okay. It collided with the other side of my professional life, which was being in the gym, managing instructors, hiring, training, recruiting instructors, and teaching classes. I was like, are you kidding me? How could these two incredible worlds collide? And they did. Um, And it's been amazing. So I run them very separately, like what I do at home with people versus what I do in the gyms, but sometimes they collide. So we have the, the, the home business side has quarterly events and I typically go to the one in Portland, although sometimes I hold them here. Hi, Angie. Hi, Kyle. Kyle, you should come tomorrow. Kyle is on my team of coaches. He owns a gym in Coquille called Momentum Fitness. They are amazing. Um, so yeah, I have gym owners that are on, on my team as well. It's pretty exciting. Um, so, uh, because more fitness begets more fitness. Like in my mind, fitness is not one size fits all. It's not like everybody should do a home workout. It's not like everybody should do a class. People should there. Some people need to run five K's and run marathons and ride bikes and go swimming and work with a personal trainer and take Zumba or do a home workout or do a live class. Like there's so many, there's so many solutions because we are not one size fits all when it comes to our um, psyche and what motivates us and what is going to work for us individually in terms of movement. I'm so excited for tomorrow too, Sherry. So anyway, tomorrow we have these quarterly events where Um, The network side of things, the online coaching side of things, um, where we just kind of like rub shoulders, hear some speakers, um, learn. Um, You don't have to be part of that network to attend. And every once in a while when they don't have a celebrity coming to Portland, or I should say that when they don't have a celebrity coming to Portland, I lead the workout. (laughs) I'm like the knockoff celebrity. I'm like plan B. I'm plan B. So when we don't have one of our Beachbody celebrity trainers coming, then I lead the workout. So tomorrow I'm leading the workout at the zoo. I'm going to post the event. I'm going to share it on my timeline in case you're local and want to attend. It is like, I think, 20 bucks. I think it's 20 bucks. It starts at 11 and it goes until 2. And then usually we, um, we go out to lunch afterward somewhere, some cool place in Portland because you guys know like Portland has the best food. Portland is cool. Hashtag stay weird, Portland. Um, thank you. It is a mashup, Anita. Um, they're only giving me 30 minutes. So should I tell you what I'm going to do? 
I'm going to do Insanity and Pio. And if you're coming, there's a few of you that are coming that are part of our pro team family. And I think my husband's leaving for work, so I got to go give him a kiss goodbye. So I'm going to wrap things up right now. Um, I might pull you up on stage with me. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. If you're part of pro team and you are repping and you're teaching Insanity and Pio, I just might pull you up on stage. Wear the logo. Wear something that represents. Um, you guys, thank you. So I'm sad you're missing it too, Brittany. Um, thank you for hopping on my live feed. I'm sorry I was all over the place. I do really want your recommendations for a tripod because I'm going to go buy one today. I really liked that one I had that I left in Santa Inez. Um, I got a little distracted when I started talking about coffee mugs, but um, I love you guys. I love my social media network. I feel like um, good people and good vibes attract good people and good vibes, and I'm thankful for you guys being in my life. And cheers to good business and good friends.